Arne, it's a pleasure to play this matchup against you. It's uh, flying back in time here. You're playing a semi-pro to finals again. I'm not quite sure that you're Soka by any means. You also did well with Esper Dragons. Oh yeah, I, I had some success. All right, all right, all right. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good match. Welcome everybody! I have Andrea Mengucci and we're not playing just some pioneer, legacy, modern. No, we're going back in time for this one. What are we up to, Mangucci? So we are replaying the semifinals of Pro Tour Shadows of Marine Strat, where I actually was there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you were actually playing that semifinals. And uh, who are you playing? I, I was not playing that semifinals myself, unfortunately, but I was playing that Pro Tour. It was my first Pro Tour. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, I'm playing Shota Yasuoka today. So just imagine me, Control Mage. I mean, very fast. Yeah, I'll play yeah, decently fast no, too. No, yeah, less, less fast, <laughs> less I, fast can, but... I can say. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Esper Dragons, a deck dear to my heart. I'm really excited to battle this Nostalgia standard match here. And maybe we get more in the future of that. Let us know in the, in the comments. And how about we just write, dive in. Let's go. Let's go. Band Company 2016. This is when my professional magic career started. I just went to the PT Shadows of the Industry to try and get silver and I just came out with finalist title and the world's invite. What a memory. Here we are, reliving that memory. I'm excited, band company, let's go. One of my favorite decks of all time is Esper Dragons. Um, Dragon Lord Ochutai, Jace Prince Prodigy, they're right up there. That's the time where I got into competitive magic, I actually made my first GP top eight, little brag moment with Esper Dragons. So really excited to do, be here and battle this epic, epic match. I hope we get to do more nostalgia matches, honestly. So Esper Dragons, for anyone joining that um, or watching that hasn't been playing back then in standard, Esper Dragons is essentially a control deck in the Esper color pair, color pair, color trial. <laughs> and it's playing cards like Sidemar Scorn and Full Tank Invocation that get better with having dragons in your deck. And it plays some of the best controlling dragons ever, Dragon Lord Ojitai, Dragon Lord Silunga, surrounded by a bunch of good removal spells, Jace Rinse Prodigy, Sweepers like Languish, just a good old fashioned control deck with that nice dragon theme. Really excited to battle against Mengu and Bun Company. That was certainly one of the big titans uh, match back then. Let's let's roll first. Absolutely. High Three roll? dice, high roll. All right, sounds good. That right, is very high. 14. 14. Come on! Ah! Wow! <laughs> it's hard to make it. That's okay. okay. I'll have a play then. Good play. luck. All right, let's go. Let's do this. I'm Woo! super excited. <clears throat> Fine, and I'm on the play. I can afford to keep a four land, three spells, and I don't have a two drop, but Trucker, Company, Avacyn, we'll do it. I have a keeper. The, the nice thing about this format, you can't really not keep a hand with a turn two Jace, because Jace, um, especially against Band Company, survives. And at that point, you just fix your hand. You have a bad opener, Jace is gonna fix it. That, that was always the thing. So it's a keep for me. Okay, I'll keep as well. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> All right, it starts a prairie stream, your turn. Oh, nice Azorius Guild Gate. By the way, these lands are so bad. Like we're, <laughs> we're so used to good lands now. They were pretty good when the fetch lands were around. Right. When you right. had four color decks and everything. Yeah, oh yeah, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's draw. Let's play Evolving Wild. Mm, that is one of my favorite cards ever. If not, uh, I won't say much more. I have a second hello. Nice. <laughs> nobody, nobody moves. All right, how about a second one? Oh, Go. okay. I like that. Okay, okay. I'll play a Swamp. Mm -hmm. And a Jace Red Prodigy, yes. That card is one of my favorite of all time too. All right, if you like it so much, I'll give you oh, I get the opportunity to, to cast it again in the future. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Not next turn, though. The yeah. one after. Go ahead. Uh, I mean, this is quite funny, I yeah. gotta say. Yeah. I, made, I made my first GP top 8 with Esper Dragons, and I won a GP with Band Company, so <laughs> this is really... All right, I can raise I'm the brag. I'm just so happy here. Yeah, you can raise the brag. I'll raise the brag. I won the World Magic Cup with Esper Dragons, and all came right, second in right. the BT. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, draw a card. I don't want to use up my grasp on this Reflector Mage. You know, I have language in my deck, which can sweep up Reflector Mage later on. I can take some damage. I'm just going to read the bones here, which does mean that I will have to discard, but that's worth the price. I mean, I have a hand with seven cards in hand. That's fine. I can discard. Yeah, I'm going to cast 
Rare case of coil loss. A nice alternative artwork. And cast a read the bones. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I go to 18. We were not playing read the bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Um, I certainly like this one. Okay. The other one, I don't think I need it. Draw two. All right, I got a discard, unfortunately, here. Yeah. Read the bones to the bin. And I will choose to... Hmm. All right, I'll choose to discard this. Mm -hmm. Dragon with Oge die. Cool. Bro. I can either pass with Collected Company up, but I'd rather wait a little bit on that. Deploy a second threat with Tireless Tracker plus land for the clue. I think it's better. Next turn, I can have both Company and a Vacina up. Let's not go all in on Company. Sometimes it will. So if I have a guaranteed good threat, let's play that one first. We'll play a Tireless Tracker. Mm, nice one. Another fan's favorite. Another guild gate. <laughs> Get a treasure and attack you for two. Go to 16. Go. All right, draw a card for turn. Okay. Yeah, I think this turn is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna reveal a swamp to this okay. show mastery. Cast language. Language. Yep. Right, oh, language. Such a nice card. Go ahead. I'll take a draw. Mm -hmm. Play it in my coast. Hmm. I'll pause the turn. Interesting. Very mysterious. Mm hmm. Hmm. All right. Pass the turn back to you. I'm gonna pass. I don't exactly remember the counters going around in this format. I'm gonna go with a safe uh, bounding crazes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. draw off a clue. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Can I go? Yeah. On top, draw. Yeah. Clock for three. Now I'm gonna rest in the darkness. Pay one life for that. Go Ooh, 15. <laughs> with a very interesting tapping over there. I do remember now what's the counter <laughs> in the format. <laughs> By the way that Arnett lost a life to cast the Grasp of Darkness, it's pretty obvious to me that he has a Sidumagar Scorn. So I'd rather double spell with Jace plus Bounding Crazes over casting one single spell with Collected Company here. I'll play a Lumbering Falls. Mm, that's a good one. And I'll play a Jace, Brains Prodigy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna see them next go on revealing the end of time. Your turn. <clears throat> All right, draw cards. Mango has kept up mana suspiciously here, so I don't know what Mango is exactly playing. Some of those banned company lists played Clash of Wills in the main deck, which is like a syncopate variant. So if I play my Dragon Lord here and just get Clash of Wills, oh my god, I'm going to be so behind. So I think I have some other play I want to do here. I'm going to go ahead and cast Painful Truths. Drawing free. 12. Down to 12. Chuck. 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 Okay, play Swamp mm. and Transgress the Mighty. Mm. All right, in response, I'm going to play Bounding Graces. Mm, okay. And then this is my hand. Oof, oof, Mango. Taking this collected company yep. out. All right, your turn. I'm tapping Draw. Okay. You're 12. I am. Fire off the falls okay. and attack you for six. Two six. Go! I played this turn very quickly because I didn't want to tell Arne, hey look, I have a, I have other options. And if Arne goes Ojutai tapping out, I can follow it up with a collected company just to keep the beats going. Hmm. I think it's time for the dragon to come out. Yep. Go ahead. Duh, 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 duh. Ooh, sexy. Oh, these cards. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. Nisa. Play land. Flip Nisa. Gotta do this more often. I'm enjoying this so much. So much nostalgia. It's it's fun for sure. Alright. 
Ashaya minus two. I'll make, a, sorry, Nisa minus two. I'll make an Ashaya. Gonna be this bear now. And uh, you can go. All right. Exciting game. For sure. Gonna play an island. Attack domes this one. And then I'm just gonna pass here with seven mana up, which works exactly with my sitting last score, my ultimate price, and my full tongue. So I can kill the Ashaya with ultimate price, full tongue the Krasis, and then I have sitting last score for that Avacyn later or anything that comes. So I feel pretty good about this spot. Just say go. I'll pass the turn back to you. All right, end of turn. Oh my gosh. I drew the company. Whew. Nissa into company, Whew. yeah, I guess I gotta use my Sidunga squad for that. But then in return, that Avacyn will get my Ultra Tie later in the future. So I think what I have to do actually, I just have to cast Full Tongue, gain some life, and keep that ultimate price for later, leaving the Shire around and having to take more damage. But I need this ultimate price for the Avacyn, otherwise my OJ can't connect anymore. I'm gonna respond to that with a Full Tongue. Okay, so I'll sacrifice. A bounding crazies you gain for life. I go up to 10. It's a nice life gain cushion. And then I'm gonna see the rest go on. And, uh, wow. All right, yeah. I passed the turn to you. You have four cards? I have three cards. Three cards? Ah, oh, I thought I was in a great shape. All right, draw. I'm gonna take four, go to six. I'll just play a land and pass. Mm, it's another Lumbering Falls. All right, and tap, draw, I will attack. Yeah, the resolves. Trigger on the stack, taking the price. Yeah, take <clears> five. <throat> take five, go to 15. Uh, trigger the OJ. Uh, taking that, that's for sure. And just to the bottom. <laughs> no progress. Okay, still have that one. Tap lines and go. Drop. I'll uh, play a Sylvan Advocate. <laughs> yeah. I will activate the fall. Yeah. I'll attack you. I'll block the fall. <laughs> All right, why not? Why not block the bear? <laughs> this is smaller. Yeah, no, it's 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, so have yeah. I, 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 Must I, try. I wanted to get you with that. So another like secret mode of land creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Yeah. yeah. Go. Okay, so, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're doing okay, we're doing okay. Ten. Ten. Trigger. Take that. This is the bottom. And then... You know what's coming? No. Drag Lord Sivanga. Strong. Take that. Strong. No, I got my 4 5 life link assume coming at you. No. Poor Tom. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, no reflector mage, please. Ah. Okay. That is not lethal. Whew. Yeah. Okay. Just that one. So I can jump block. It's a 5-5. Five, five. All right. Yeah. I will jump block. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You can have it. Go ahead. Okay. Whew. All right. All right. All right. All right. The Dragon Lord comes in there. Two to five. Trigger. Make it top three. So I'll just take that. And... Then I'll play an Opnixilis, kill that Sylvan Advocate with the minus two. And now I have a Shambling Man and Blocking Duty, theoretically. Yep. All right, pass the turn. Uh, maybe a back to back com company? Back to back company. A company? Okay. Good game. Good game. That was close. Whew. Three negates to dispel. They're obviously great against Arna's decks of uh, Languish and uh, plenty of removals, as well as Counterspell. The Drumukas Command easily go out. 
I'm not a big fan of removing one Reflector Mage because he plays Jace, you know, Ojuta and things like that, but I think that holding three is good enough. I really like every other card, so let's sideboard only these five here. All right, Shota Yasuoka built his deck already in mind with Band Company as a matchup. Back then, Band Company was just the best deck and everybody was prepared for it, so I won't have to do much sideboarding here. But nonetheless, I'm bringing in four cards. I'm bringing in two Deadweight and two Kalitas Trader of Get. Deadweight is great against the small creatures like Duskward Recruiter and Jason's Prodigy. Kalitas is just this machine that when it sits around, will just win the game. The band company was known for having not that much removal, so Kalitas might survive. Boarding out, I'm going to cut Transgress the Mind. Discard spell is a bit slow, it doesn't affect the board, especially when you're on the draw and you use your mana on a discard spell. You might even fall, fall further behind, so cutting that one. And then I'm cutting Read the Bones and Omnixilis. I still got the Painful Truths for card draw. I don't need that much card draw on the draw. Read the Bones is gonna pain me. And Omnixilis is just a clunky Planeswalker that runs into counter magic. Game number two, I'm on the play. Good luck. Let's go. Five. Seven. Two lands, they're both topped on the play. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look great. I could mulligan, but I feel like I have Duskwatch Recruiter, I have Collected Company, these cards are great in this matchup. I'm gonna give it a go, draw a couple of lands in a row, and be in the game. Right, I'm gonna believe though. You're gonna believe? I believe. This opening hand is really nice actually. I got a dead weight, I got all my colors, I even have two untapped lands with the Sunk Hollow revealing. And I have an OJ and a Language at the end. Sidonga scoring two on turn two available. <laughs> I, can't, I can't ask for anything better on the draw here. All right. You believe? I do believe as well. Evolving Wilds, your turn. Oh, Standard Wilds. staple, Evolving Wilds. <laughs> All right. Draw a card. Yep. Yeah. Play second over. Go ahead. Fetch. Pretty good with Tylus Tracker. Top land, your turn. <laughs> Gosh. Um, I play a Choked Asteri. Okay. Revealing a Prairie Stream. Okay. Go ahead. No third land drop, but that's what we're Okay, this is Your turn. So this was different than the Werewolf Knight, which you pointed out, right? What was uh, that? The, the, the knight mechanic we have in Innistrad. Oh, yeah, game night, different. day night, sure. Yeah, so, okay. so if this leaves the battlefield, we won't have a day yeah, night yeah, cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think it's very good. Draw a card. I will again reveal this port down. Mm -hmm. uh, this person to the port down, and then I would dead weight to recruit him. Okay. Go ahead. I might have missed the third land drop and feel bad, but we're fine. I think Arne has counterspell up, so let's just pass, play around Silumgar Scored, and just play Bounding Crazies on my opponent's turn rather than creature in my turn. Let's, let's play around stuff over here. Land your turn. Right. I play Caves of Kornos. Mm -hmm. And Kalidas. Wow. All right. I will tap. I'll tap and drop. I'll take one damage. I'll get it 19. Ah, uh, you got the Reflector Mage. I got the Reflector Mage. Whoa. And attack you for three. Uh, 17. You got it. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I guess I have to language that. All right. Play it first. Too. Go ahead. Ooh, look at this land coming into play, untap. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> uh, you can go. Yes. Yeah. Draw cards. Okay. All right. I play Kalios. I have to actually tap like this. And I'll take a pain. Okay. Go ahead. End of turn. I will cast him by scorn, showing you Dragon Lodge time. Nice. Okay. Got it. No dispel. Whew. No dispel, unfortunately. Go. Okay. It's tempting to just attack here with this Kalitas trade of get. I have an ultimate prize. I could, you know, just gain free life or kill a blocker when when 
Mango plays that Avison or Collective Company, but I don't think it's worth the risk. Especially if Mango has some interesting combination of Collective Company plus a negate, or he drew the dispel and has an Avison to block my Kalitas and dispel my ultimate price. So I'm just gonna be playing my Ojitai and then we see from there without any attacks. I'll play my case of Kalitas and then I will. Cast Dragon Lord Ojita. Results. Good combat? Yeah. Pass it down. It's okay. I'll play Avacyn regardless. Mm -hmm. Okay, that resolves, but with the trigger on the stack. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, you got a Zombo. Okay, and Avacyn is exiled. Right. And. Take a turn. Raw. Play Nisa. Hmm. Trigger. Get a Bosk. A Bosk. Play with Nisa. Yeah. I'll get a token. Hmm. Pass the turn. Alright. Four cards. <laughs> um. Go to combat, attack. This on this, uh, and the Ojutai on you. Okay, the situation is terrible. Ojutai is attacking me, I don't have a removal spell. Kalitas is super threatening. I could go Bonding Crazies to tap it, but I feel like I have to go all in, hope that he doesn't have a removal spell. I'll play my Bonding Crazies, double block with Yashaya on the Kalitas, because of course he can sacrifice the zombie to make it five and six, so. Let's just do that play and uh, cross your fingers. I'll play a Bounding Crazes. In combat? Yep. Mm. Okay. Top zombie? Mm. Yep. I'd like to double block the Kalitas. Mm. All right. I'll order the crosses yep. first. All right. Damage? Yeah. So you gain three, you get a zombie, a good of 14, and you trigger your Ojitai. Yeah, you get a 20. All right, trigger OJ. Ooh, this is a tough one. Uh, on the one hand, I just lost my Kalitas. I want another Kalitas. It's, it's, it's gonna be good, you know? I have these zombies to sacrifice into it, make it bigger. On the other hand, there's a Silunga score, my goodness. One of the cards I could lose to is some sort of interaction for my OJ tie. So I think Silunga score countering something like an Avacyn or a Reflect Damage is is rather more important than adding this Kalitas to the board. Oh, pick up this one. It's looking pretty okay for me. So you got a planes where we're going. And I wonder if I should have just attacked it with Ojitai. But it's okay. Pass the turn. You passed. All right, untap. Draw. Uh, we're here the top card. Yeah. It's a land. Okay. So it goes in play. Play a... Sylvan Advocate. Sylvan Advocate right here is pretty strong. You have one card left. Mm. All right, um, yep, it's fine. And I'll also play a Dusk Wish. Right, I'll see you next one. Yep. Yeah. Last card in hand. It's yep. fine to do so. You can go. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, at this point, I'll attack the Nissa. And I will actually play my other guy. Alright, let's roll out this one. Go ahead. Task push recruiter. Okay. Resolves? Yeah. Nice. I will activate it. Mm -hmm. Look at the top three. Take a creature. Mm -hmm. three. The brick. Oh, okay. And uh, <sighs> and I want to attack with both of my creatures. All right. Um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and double block the bear. The bear. Yeah, the bear is down. <laughs> The, the Ashaya token, I mean. You take four, you get a 16. Yes. Pass. All right. 
OJ. OJ, you gotta do some things for me. I go to nine. Yeah. Draw. Okay. Ah, uh, another difficult one. Um, I can either take the scorn or the jays. I think at this point, I want to take the jays because the jays means I can flashback a removal spell to clear away the board a little bit here. So I don't, I can't get raised. If I take Silunga Scorn again, um, Mengu might have multiple cheaper creatures and, and get me. This is a really close, close decision, but I think I'm going with the Jace here. This is a really tough decision, but I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay. All right, let's put it under the deck. And we got four cards. Four cards. And we'll play the Jace. And I will pass the turn back. I activate. Yeah. Last watch. Fine. That's a good one. Take my turn. Yep. I'm tapping draw. Man, this band deck is just late game. I'll attack for six. Yeah, no gloss. You got a ten. Yep. I'll play it in Sevas with Seer. Yes. Hopefully there's a fourth forest. I don't remember how many I played. Nice. Mm. <laughs> Play it. Forest. Yep. Flip Nisa. Now, you, what do you have? Languish Ultimate Price. That's it. And if you languish, you kill your own Romoka. I mean, that's fine. And you don't kill my Advocate. I'm going for it. Go ahead. Okay. Activate Chase. Draw a card. Discard Port Down. Flip the Jays. So we get, both got flip planes for us now. Alright. Alright, I found the line, I think. I'm gonna minus three mm -hmm. on ultimate Ray. Right. So with Jace, you don't have to play it immediately. Until in the turn, I believe. Yes. Alright, sure. Then I will go ahead and attack you with this Ojita. That's okay, get it four. A little hesitation there. Makes <laughs> me think that I did the right play. <laughs> go ahead. There you go. Okay. I'm sure we're gonna take this card. Okay, I haven't made a land drop yet. So I'm a four life, you are a ten. You make a land drop. Play Dragon with Sura. Does that resolve? Yeah. It does. Okay, then I will take that Sylvan Advocate, if I may. And I'll pass the turn to you. All right, I use the Nasquatch Recruiter. That may resolve. Find the bombing crisis. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and ultimate slice the spear. Uh, sorry, this is a Shia. Totally. It's a Shia. I'm so sorry. This... <laughs> Quick count on the board. Wait a second. If I top deck Reflector Mage, I win. And I even have Dasquatch Recruiter. Let's go for it. Negate that ultimate prize and get ready to top deck. All right. I'll negate. Okay. Let's go. We got top decks. All right, all right. We got top decks here. Let's do it. Draw. Yeah. No! No! no. Reflector Mage. Oh, that's GG. Bounce the Silungar. Oh. Get this back. Oh. Attack for oh. exactly 11. Oh. Woo! Wow. Oh. <laughs> I have one tiny sideboard change I gotta let you guys know of. I think because I'm on a play, I wanna put that Read the Bones back in the deck. The deck, as for dragons, without the dig through times it had before, it doesn't have that much card advantage. And Band Company can grind, as we saw in that last game. So I'm boarding out a Clash of Wills. I don't think I need that as much on the play. And just, you know, have a read the bones, more card advantage. Let's go. Game three, I'm going to be on a play. I want to have another one of these exciting games. That was really fun. Yeah, it was so fun. It really makes me think like, wow. The good old, old magic, the mm -hmm. good old times. Cards of Tarkir standards. Oh, I love that. All right, we got the classic Jace. Hand with lands, it's a keep. I got removal, I got a counter spell. I'm pretty happy about this one. All right, and I think I also do like this opening hat. 
This hand is really good. Jace, company, the gate, four lands, keep. My hand was could... so good that I had to double check if I had eight cards. Mm. I'm gonna play Curry Stream on turn one. Pass the turn. Play a Lumbering Falls, and it's your turn. Okay, right. play a Swamp and a Chase. Go ahead. I will mimic you. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Draw a card. Okay. I just want to get rid of this Jace. You know, maybe Mengu kept the hand that was reliant on the Jace. Maybe a lot of lands or not a lot of lands. Who knows? So just use full time invocation and get rid of this Jace right now. First things first, activate the Jace. Block. <laughs> I know, sorry. Yeah. Nice try. Mm -hmm. Get rid of this portal. And then I will play Choked Asteroid, Revealing Island. Okay. And I will cast a flip without revealing anything. Go ahead. Goodbye, Jace. Goodbye, Jace. You'll be remembered. It's one of the best Planeswalker of all time. Evolving Wild Go. Okay. Do you like the sound of that? Activate Jace. Draw a card. I need the lands. I want the Silumga score one. I want the Ojutai. It's between Grasp of Darkness and Silumga. Um, and in this situation, because I'm ahead, I already have the Jace on the battlefield. My Ojutai is gonna drop down, and later on, my Silumga will drop down. I don't need the Grasp as much. Mango doesn't have a board state. I wanna have all the power, so I'm just gonna discard this Grasp of Darkness. Even though it's a fine card in the matchup, and Silumga is clunky, I think Silumga is the way to go here. In a different situation, maybe if I'm on the draw, my opponent has a higher board state. I would just discard the Silunga, but in this spot, Grasp of Darkness goes to the graveyard. I think I will discard this one. And play an island and pass the turn to you. Fetch end of turn, get island, untap. I could cast company, but he's man untapped. Sure, he has Jace going for it, so waiting is not, it doesn't get better. But I have Negate, I have this spell. I think I can play around the counter spell, just take a turn. Draw, play land, pass with Coco plus the spell. I think this is gonna work out better. Free stream, your turn. I got nothing. You got nothing? Nothing. Alright. Nothing at all. I activate Jace. Sure. Okay. It doesn't flip. Um, and this time I will discard a sun model. Alright. And I will play a shambler then. Sure. As much as our mana base were uh, pretty bad to look at, they're functioning at some point. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got it. We got it. All right, I'll take my turn. Okay. Play another prairie stream in Pastilla. Okay. Draw go here. Interesting. Interesting. Draw go, exactly. I'm pretty sure Mango is setting up for Collected Company plus the spell. So I don't really want to flip my Jace and plus it into nothingness. Then, then Mango plays company, I see Lunga score, he dispels, and he just attacks down my Jace. So I'm just gonna pass, do nothing with this Jace. I will Great. play Curry Stream. Yes. Also comes into play on top, two basics. Nice. And I pass it to you. Two pass, so you don't attack the Jace. No, no, no. All right, I'll play it. Collect the company of the turn. Show me your tricks. I will show you my tricks. I'll cast the Silunga Scorn, we're doing Dragon Lord Ojutai. All right, I will play it this spell. That will resolve. And your company will resolve. Woo! I like that. Six cards, right? Yeah. It's been a while since I've cast this card. <laughs> All right, I got two creatures, can't complain. I'd like to bounce your Jace. Do I want to return the Jace to my hand, or do I want to tap it and flip it into a Planeswalker here in the end step? I can't activate it anymore, unfortunately. But I do have Ultimate Prize for Mengu's Jace, and Reflector Mage won't be able to kill my, my, my Jace. Oh, right. I will activate Jace. Yeah. Draw a card. Yeah. Discard Prairie Stream. And yeah, Jace will be on five. And then still in the end step. I'll destroy. Okay, so you have two cards under them using Oji Die. Yes. I'll go? Yep. Mm. 
Walk through the lumber and falls. Mm. Combat. Mm. Both a Jace. Yep. It does. Nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Go ahead. Three cards and hands. Four. Four. That's a lot. Yeah. All right, I'll play Dragon Lord tonight. Yep. And I'll play it full time. One card. One card. I did not draw in, unfortunately, to go Avacyn plus Negate to play around removal spell. That's unfortunate, but I still have Jace, Sylvan Advocate, Negate. This is a fantastic turn. Play a Jace, mm -hmm. play a Sylvan Advocate, mm -hmm. and a pass. Attack. 15. Look at the top three. I gotta take this one. And now I'll play it from the ceiling now. All right. Take this Jace. Yep. So you can flashback your company. Yep. And... I'll play Shaman Dance. Go. And tap and draw. I'll pass the turn. Yep. Four cards, no lands. Okay. Draw cards. I'll play Jace. Hmm. <laughs> sure. I'm not going to rule that one out. And I'm afraid of a certain card here, so I'm not going to attack. Pass the turn. All right, draw. Mm. Playing Evolving Wilds. I'll play a... To the battle! Okay. Your turn. No cards. <clears throat> I will activate this. Draw cards. Discard. Flip the chains. Thank you. And then I will minus two on ultimate price. Yeah. Go to combat. Yeah. Attack you with the ultra chain. Take five, get a ten. Trigger. Take that. Ahem. <clears throat> Play land. Hmm. And then I will ultimate process still an advocate. Yep. Okay. And then it's your turn. Activate. Yeah. Okay. I take a bounding crisis. Mm hmm. And then I fetch. Mm hmm. On top and drop. Mm. I will pass the turn. On top. Flip this. Yeah. Good. Take up the chase. On. And, uh, okay. Crawler. Okay. And I'm gonna go to combat. Sure. I think Mengu has an Avacyn in the hand here and a negate. So I'm definitely gonna attack him with this Ojitai because he will just have Avacyn and then negate my um, counter spell. But uh, I can attack the Dragon of Sidon guy that's free because Mengu also has bound increases. So he's gonna tap that anyways, end of turn. So why not just attack the Sidon guy and see what happens. If Menguchi actually plays his Avacyn, I also got a nice play there. Attack of Sidon guy. I'm at 10. Mm. I'll play Archangel Avacyn. Mm. For 4 mana. Because mm. of the discount mm. of the Asquatch Rupert. Mm. Does it resolve? It does resolve. Uh, indestructible to all my team. Yeah. And I'll block. Okay. Post combat, I'm going to play Dragon Slayer. I did not expect that. Does it happen? Yeah. Legend rule. Legendary rule this out. Take the Everson. Yeah. Give me that angel! You know what would have been incredible? If I would get the angel and then I would legendary rule out the Silumga, making a non-angel die on my board, then I untap, Everson triggers, his entire board gets wiped away. 
But unfortunately, the rules don't work like that, and I have to let the rule out before I get the Abyss Note to my one. And plus a turn two. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I thought it was in a great shape, but now it's just. Yeah. Lost my Avacyn. You know, this Daneful Stroke was not legal in that set, and that's limited, and uh, I missed it. I missed it for sure. All right, I need to play this craziest flip. My thing here. Is that, does this resolve? Yeah, it does resolve. All right, I'll tap down uh, the cylinder. Okay. All right, can I check my hair? Yes. This is zero. Mm -hmm. Drop. All right, I'll look at the top three. Yeah. Bound the crazes. Mm -hmm. Then I will look at the top three again. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll play a land. More ten life. Yeah, all I can get. <laughs> Pass the turn. All right. Uh, on top. Yep. This one flips. That's. And then I have to do this half keep. Okay, I have seven that's gone. Alright. Alright, no dispel. No dispel. Okay. Go. Yeah. Draw you got and it. Attack. It all. Four, twelve. Do you know my hand? Two negate. Two negates. Ah. <laughs> Good games. Yeah, you played two Simons this score when I had the negates up. Yeah, yeah. Good games. Good, Good games. games. Good games. <laughs> That was a fantastic match. It was, it I, was. I have to say that game one and three, I felt I was winning. And game two, I felt I had no chance. Yeah. And I won game two and I lost game one and three. Yeah, yeah, it was absurd. Like, um, like that game three with my negates that you kept on casting Dragal or uh, Sigongar, <laughs> that Avacyn could have been avoided. It was just a lot of things yeah. that broke against my way. Like, I really had a great hand. I felt I, felt I could never lose. Yeah, yeah, I remember that that format. If the Stanford stroke would have been legal, I think Band Company would have been unstoppable because that was um, this weakness that Shota uh, exploited. People sure. not having the Stanford stroke post board. Yeah, the Stanford stroke just rotated out with cans, wasn't legal, and mining gates were so clunky. Yeah. I, I wish they were like I don't know, Reflector Mage that sided out, for example, or even the Dromogus Command that sided out. I really wish they yeah. were not negate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I did have that in mind and I built and played around that post board in those games. And um, yeah, here we are. That was really fun for, for both of us. For sure. And I'm excited to do this more in the future. Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content here on Card Market. That motivates us even more. And we hopefully get to see Mango again here in the yeah, future. Yeah, maybe next. next time I come, we can do the, I don't know, maybe some old modern. People love those. Ooh. Top 8 Old Modern. Affinity against... I, I can play humans. Humans? All right, all right, let's go. All right, guys, peace out. See you in the next one. Hey.